Hi, I'm Sita Rani for Credo, and we're here with Rose Marie Swift of RMS Beauty, founder of this incredible line. It is so pure and full of raw food grade ingredients that are amazingly nourishing for your skin. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna actually get a little naughty here today. We're gonna talk about contour. There's a big controversy on this technique, I guess you could say, if you want to call it a technique. I don't know anymore what's been done to it. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to talk about contour because a lot of it has gone a little over the top. I think some of these people that are trying to teach contouring don't realize there's a difference between contouring and lighting. And basically what they're drawing on their face is lighting. You know, contour doesn't go down into your face like this, almost meeting your lips. I see so much of this online. And um, I'm going to do one size exaggeration, guys. I'm using my, um, my uh, Seduce eyeshadow. Actually, it's eye polish. And what's happening is I think contour is getting a little carried away. It's getting too heavy. It's getting too boxy. I see some of it where it's literally a squared off at the end here. So it's basically when you turn your head, you've got a huge chocolate bar on the side of your face. And what's happening is that it's not supposed to be lighting you're drawing on. It's supposed to be contour. Now here is where I prefer to put the contour. It's right underneath that cheekbone to lift the cheekbone. So you want to lift this, and I'm just going to slightly feather it upward just to give a nice soft effect. Now look straight into the mirror. And you'll notice that this is really making the skin look really, or the, I'm sorry, the face look really thin and gaunt. And this is lifting it up a bit more. Now another thing I see being done too much is the blush, basically right over top of the contour. And basically you're just getting this, well like I said, a big huge chocolate bar across the side of your face. I prefer to have it just coming into the cheek here, working its way slightly onto the cheekbone. And you're going to see this lifts the face much better than this side is doing. And I do tend to use the Seduce eyeshadow. It's the one that's brown. I like to use creams because it looks more natural, it looks like more, more like real skin. And it's just more, more, uh, more beautiful. I see a lot of, of makeup now being what I call the clown look, where they're bringing the blush down here. Blush doesn't belong down there. If you're doing a horror movie, it's great, but we're not doing a horror movie here, we're doing reality. Again, Take a little bit of my luminizer, pop it up in the cheekbone, giving it that little lift again, letting it catch in light. That light reflective glow is what makes you look young, dried out all powdered down, makes you look old and dry. We were talking about Rosemary's Living Luminizer as kind of the gateway product to this brand. So if you're going to start somewhere, this is a must have. Just a little. There we go. That's what we need to see. That's wrong. And turn the other way. And that's correct. There you go. That's perfect. That's what we need to show. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. Anytime. And we'll see you again soon.